Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Air Travel Sati. Friends, today I will discuss about the latest travel restrictions imposed by some of the Indian states. If you want to travel to these states, you need to know these rules. So, before starting this video, I request to all my new viewers to kindly subscribe this channel so that in future you will receive this kind of updates. So friends, let's start. So friends, in my video, I will be discussing regarding the latest restrictions imposed by Delhi government, Maharashtra government and Mumbai city, West Bengal, Karnataka and Jammu Kashmir state. So in my video, you will get the complete guidelines regarding your domestic as well as if you are coming from an international, from an international destination uh, coming into India, so you will be getting all the latest information regarding omicron scare travel policy implemented in india so friends please watch the complete video so that you will be getting some idea before you travel to these states and imposed restriction is abided by all the airlines so if you don't abide by this rule you won't be able to travel so friends before starting this journey please watch this video so you will be getting some idea and i also request to all my viewers to kindly check the latest guidelines of the respective states if where you are going to and also check with the airline that if they require additional any artificial requirement is there or not so friends let's begin so friends first i'll discuss regarding delhi states international and domestic travel rule so the delhi government guidelines is basically by Union Ministry of Civil Aviation for people flying to Delhi have stated that random sample collection will be done for passengers who are arriving from states where there has been an increase in the number of COVID-19 cases. So if you are coming from a state where COVID-19 cases is increased, so you need to go through additional checks and passengers will be allowed to exit only after their samples have been collected. They will also have to go thermal screening at Delhi airport. And if you are coming from international destination or international, if you have an international flight, then international passengers who, who, who are coming from a non-risk countries, they will be allowed to leave the airport. So. If you are coming from risk countries, you will be tested like random testing will be done at the airport and if you are coming from non-risk country, you will be required to self-monitor your health for at least 14 days in Delhi. So friends, please follow this rule if you are coming to Delhi or Delhi airport. Friends, the next state is Maharashtra. So friends, if you are going to Maharashtra from high risk international country like if you are a passenger who is coming from high risk international destination you will have to go through RTVCR test on arrival at the respective airports and will have to undergo a mandatory institutional quarantine of 7 days along with this you need to have to be you need to get tested again on the 7th day means after institutional quarantine for seven days you need to get additional rtpcr test on seven day and you will have to be shifted to a hospital with covid19 treatment facilities if you test dead as positive so if you are negative then you have to be home quarantine for additional seven more days so in case if you are traveling from a domestic destination within India and if you are coming by air then the air passengers will have to be you need to be fully vaccinated means before traveling to Maharashtra Strait the travel requirement is you need to be fully vaccinated either you need to carry an RTPCR negative certificate which should not be 72 hours old before your departure so these are the mandatory requirement for adult travelers and if you are 
a child like if you are traveling with a child then child up to age 5 years are exempted from this criteria like rtpcr negative report is exempted for them if they are below 5 years old and if you are traveling with a child who is above 5 years old they need to have a rtpcr negative test certificate not earlier than 72 hours before your departure of the flight so friends you need to follow this rule before you travel to maharashtra so my next topic is regarding mumbai international travel rules for the international flyers who is coming into mumbai airport so for people who is flying from dubai to the mumbai airport then the mumbai civic body has made seven days home quarantine mandatory for this type of passenger who is coming from dubai and after that an rtpcr test will be required on arrival if passengers are fully vaccinated then rtpcr test will be done if you are fully vaccinated after that the civic body confirm that the ward room will be in touch with the passengers in home quarantine for seven days and an rtpcr test will be done on the seventh day like i have described before like Maharashtra straight, the same rules applies here. And after testing, if the test turns out as negative, then the passengers will be required to self-monitor their health for 14 days. As per Bombay Municipal Corporation, if the test is positive, then that passenger will have to be shifted to institutional quarantine as per the current guidelines for the international traveler. The collector will make arrangement for transportation for travelers residing in other cities than other than Mumbai. So if you are a resident other than Mumbai, then the transport arrangement will be made by the collector. Travelers will not be allowed to take public transport as well. So for this type of international traveler will not be allowed to take the public transport. So friends before coming into Mumbai airport from Dubai you need to follow this rule you need to maintain this guideline so the, my next uh, point of discussion is regarding West Bengal state so if you are coming to West Bengal then what are the guidelines you need to follow it is like that if travelers coming in from other states they will be required to carry a negative RT-PCR report and the test should be conducted not more than 72 hours before your departure of your flight and if you are a fully vaccinated passenger then you will be exempted for this criteria and about international travel in West Bengal those arriving in West Bengal state from Omicron infected countries they will have to spend seven days in quarantine in West Bengal a special ward has been set up at the government-run Beleghata ID Hospital in Kolkata, especially for patients who have tested positive for Omicron variant coronavirus. So these are the updates regarding West Bengal travel. Now friends, I will discuss about Karnataka state international travel rule. So if you are coming to Karnataka from an international point, then you need to require to undergo RTPCR test and you need to remain in home quarantine for 7 days. If the test comes back positive, like after 7 days you need to get tested and if the RTPCR test comes back as positive, the sample will be sent for genomic sequencing and the traveler will be admitted to the separate isolation facility. The travelers will be discharged at the discretion of the treating physician if the genomic sequencing is negative. And for travelers coming from countries other than those enlisted as the at-risk ones, a random sample of 5% of travelers with negative results will have to ap appear for the RT-PCR testing on arrival in Karnataka's Bangalore airport. So friends, my last uh, state in this topic is Jammu and Kashmir so friends Jammu and Kashmir international traveler is coming into this state or flying to Kashmir then what they need to follow I'll be discussing in this point 
so flyers coming from international destination have to go through rtpcr test at the airport and which is necessary if the test come back as positive then the travelers will have to be shifted to a quarantine facility and their contacts will also be traced and they will be tested too however those passengers or flyers flying from in to kashmir states at risk nations and if the test is negative then they will still be required to home quarantine themselves for 7 more days a second test will be conducted on day 8 again and if the test comes back as negative then they will be advised to self monitor for a minimum of 2 weeks so friends i hope that you have got some idea regarding your international or domestic travel to this indian states so if you are coming into these states please follow these guidelines and follow the respective state governments covid guidelines before entering to that states so friends i hope that you like this video so if you like this video kindly subscribe this channel and share with your friends so friends thank you for watching and have a nice day thank you